Hey guys, what's up? It's both here with Nolan. Today we're going to be playing Artificial Hero. This is a Korean game, and it does have a little bit of English translation to it from what I see, which is actually pretty nice. We can actually go into it and play it. Uh, it doesn't pop up on the Google Play Store, so you would have to find APK or somewhere else. Just let that, you know, seek in. It is a MMO action RPG. From the looks of it, it looks pretty interesting so i wanted to try it out and see how it is the download does take <laughs> pretty much standard mmo time and my this character right here looks very interesting i like how they just uh drew they just drew her cleavage just straight out <laughs> but yeah it is a mmo ar action rpg so i will have to you know put in my controls and everything so it could be a lot better for myself but we're gonna try it out and see how it is i'll see you guys in all right so i put in my controls and hopefully they work out if not i'll just change it i think we should be good here yep So it seems like a dungeon crawler from this to start off, though. So. And we just started it, and we're getting straight into action. Okay, so I'm guessing there is an auto. Can we take that off? They're controlling at first, and it just controls by itself. And Jesus Christ, that lag. Okay, there we go. We can control ourselves again. I like just took control by itself for a second. So this is assassin class, which is not that bad. I can definitely say that. Ah, uh, I misused that. Let's use this skill and let's use this skill. God, there's so much going on, like everywhere. They did say it has high graphics, so I wouldn't expect it not to lie, to be honest. Okay, I'm just juggling you. And yes, it does have like real action PvP, so yeah, real time PvP. Alright, so now we're going to Fighter, which is pretty much Brawlers. Which is down my alley. Which I still do hate gauntlet brawlers though. Hold on. Oh, no, oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Fighter does so much damage. <laughs> we didn't even do that much damage that freaking assassin. I thought we missed him with the first attack. What? Yeah, Fighter might be down my alley, if anything. Alright, let's let's use our fourth again. Cause I love spinning people around. I don't know if this is graphic errors or if it's just Nox. But it probably could look different from from like mobile, just because this is emulator. Not all emulators are perfect. Especially for most of these games. I'm just juggling this poor guy. He's not gonna. St he's not gonna do anything. Ah, thought we can keep juggling his lifeless body. Here we go. Let's go to the next character. Miss um. Well, I was gonna say heavy loaded, but anywho. <laughs> okay, so she's using like a half pair of scissors. Okay, no, it's a staff. 
the way she's holding it is like really misleading. But she's a sorceress. I don't like in Sorceress, to be honest. Oh my god, all the skills. I definitely want to turn down the graphics sooner or later, but... Just... First, we gotta get through the cereal. I'm actually really enjoying myself right now. Which is shocking. This is a really different take on, like, sorcerers. Okay, we didn't use this skill. I feel like that's a graphic error on the slashes. I feel like it, but it's probably not. So this is the warrior. Let's see what our first skill does. Yeah. Well, I get to show off everybody's skills at the start, so that's nice. The seems it is auto targeting. You don't have to really do it yourself. Right, that's our third skill. And our fourth. Oh, it's a spin to win. It never lets you tag back. Okay, now I'm convinced. That definitely is like a mixing texture going on. Alright, let's go ahead and get out of here. Oh, dear God. Oh, we're gonna be playing as a warrior? Okay. to be attacking the boss, not the mobs. So the abilities stay in queue. Wait, is it that you can just combo to your abilities, or...? That's really weird, because the abilities are constantly changing. Oh god, I can't see anything. What the hell? Yeah. It seems like raids. <laughs> it definitely looked like I was playing in a raid. Jeez. Alright, so now we get to choose our character. Uh, we got Warrior. Warrior was alright. This character was pretty much to my liking, too. Assassin, not too much. The Sorceress, she was kind of dope. So she has damage, and her difficulty is actually pretty high. She has less defense. So, who's the most balanced, to be honest? Is it Warrior? No. Well, I guess Warrior has the... Nobody's really all that balanced, but I do like damage and range. Hmm. Wait, what does that say? Set as rep. So I'm guessing you could change between these characters? In that's the case, I'm choosing sorcerer. Or not, maybe I can't choose Sorcerer. I, I tried to choose her, it wouldn't let me, so I guess I had to choose Fighter. <laughs> I didn't game. Not gonna let me have nice things. Oh, never mind, they chose her. That's weird. Yeah, let's go ahead and
claim our rewards. We have a lot of rewards here. We can't claim all, so we gotta do a one by one. I have no idea what these coins are. Alright, there's the staff. Well, these scrolls, they don't, they don't even look like scrolls. They just look like coins. And why can't I collect all these at once? <laughs> Is the real question here. Like, Jesus, we got 12 of these that we got to collect. We got to click all of this. Every single time. Why? Alright, we, we got through our last three chests. Which is, was a pain in the ass to get to. Alright, we got our weapon. Alright, equipment. So this is Hero. So is this one stronger? Okay, no. This one's stronger than I got. And this... His outfit. Oh my god, there's even boot physics. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. I approve. <laughs> so where there's ring the rings and wings too. I don't know if the earrings or necklace show up. I doubt it. Let me check over here at the achievements. Got ourselves some gold. All right then, so let's look at the list. We got skills, got some skill scrolls. I have no idea what's going on here. Okay, no, I was supposed to do this mission. Not bad, I had to reload, I had to re-log in because I had some issues going on. So yeah, we're gonna go back into this tutorial. So that's one reason why I had skipped this. And plus, like I said, it has like some text issues where Things become invisible sometimes, so yeah, keep that in mind. So they said we can auto it. Eh, I want to do it myself. That, that's a lot more fun. So L is my dodge. Okay. <laughs> Look at this guy. Looks so handsome. Since I'm now on blue stacks, uh, there is going to be a lot less lag when it comes to skills. And they changed my uh, my layout. Alright, change my layout back. Now I should be fine. So did we finish that quest? We should have. I'm sorry that this uh, video is all over the place. But, yeah, like I was saying. The text really doesn't show up in emulators, so it would probably be best to get this on phone. But, from what I see of the gameplay, it's actually pretty fun. I, I don't mind it at all. So we got a quest over here. It is auto-pathing, so they'll automatically find it. Alright, equipment. Eh. Nothing unique going on here. Does she still keep moving? As I okay, no. She just stops. There is a cheap in here. Hold on. Alright, so there is stamina. Alright, let's get into it. Oh my god, just look at those things bouncing everywhere. <laughs> I chose this path, and I don't know if I regret it yet. Maybe, maybe down the road I will. Alright, so let's go down here. Well, I don't think there's anywhere else that we can go. I think it's just like a straight up dungeon crawler. They'll take you down the path. You can't really explore too many places. And, oh, well, feels bad, dude. We just pushed him back and just made him spin like a ballerina. Oh my god, you can even get a little bit of penny shots right there. This character is probably the 
most exposed one for sure. <laughs> uh, but I did like playing as other characters though. Uh, I definitely would love to try fighter, but I'm pretty sure I feel like we're locked to one character though. Because as soon as I logged in on Blue Stacks, it automatically logged me into this. I thought I was going to be able to make another account and stuff like that, but from what I see, no. You could delete your account. That's as far as you can go. You can turn on the graphics and everything. Maybe our graphics were on medium. That's why we got the whole texture tear thing. Oh my. Even the fighter has some has something going on. The fighter actually looks pretty nice. I just hate the gauntlets. Alright, let's see. What is this level up thing? Okay, these are just packages. Just pretty much stuff to help you, like, level faster. Got another achievement. So as we uh, get richer, we get more shoes. That seems like a fantastic reward. Alright, so we got orbs here. So this one gives me a defense boost and fire damage. Okay. So what are the... How did you get over here? Stop it. I guess you're trying to find a path. Well, this isn't a path, by the way. If, yeah, what are, you, what are you doing over here? Go go over here. No, wait, how did you get back here? Oh, no. Did you trap us? Did you steal our fate? Okay, no. You're good. I was about to say, please don't do this. We just started. But I wanted to see what the skill stones were for. Skills, scrolls. Oh, well, these things you could put into your actual skills and have them have like extra effects and stuff. Because that's what it looks like. I wonder then. It's going to be kind of difficult learning this game, especially if you can't really see the text on it. I mean, then again. And. I guess it really, yeah, I, I was about to say, it really depends on um, if you can read Korean. <laughs> or maybe it's not in Korean and it's just not showing up. We're going to put it on a high. Yeah, we're going to put it on a high and see how that works. Wait, why is there custom? Okay, so you can actually customize it. Motion blur, no. That off. Bloom, don't need it. Everything else we can keep. Not a big fan of motion blur, especially in a lot of games. Alright, there we go. Now it actually looks really nice. Alright, let's go back to this guy. I'm probably going to regret that. We're probably going to lag so hard. <laughs> but for now, we're going we're gonna to see how this works out. But yeah, from what I can say, it, it does have like very simple combat. You can auto it. You can... Pretty much do a lot in here. But like any other dungeon crawler you've probably played, or action RPG you probably played, is pretty much the same as those. Especially on mobile. Doesn't really bring anything different or unique to the table. Alright, there we go. Oh, well, they, <laughs> they were just spazzing out on the ground. But I can say on blue stacks, I don't think we actually get any of those. Well, I was gonna say uh, tearing issues. Actually, seems to be way better on blue stacks, even though it still has the same effects as Nox, where it doesn't show text. But I'm not gonna go like full on in depth into the game and or dig around because, as you guys can see, we're we're kind of limited on everything we can do. Especially considering that text is missing and we're going to be really confused of what we're supposed to be doing and where we're supposed to be going. Quest being like non-visible definitely doesn't help us. Uh, maybe if I go to the quest page, maybe that will help. We're going to try that afterwards. Maybe right there I just can't see anything.
Alright, let's go down here. Oh. Thought we were stuck at first. This game definitely reminds me of um Dragon Nest a little bit. If you guys have ever played Dragon Nest, it kinda reminds me of that. I'm pretty sure Dragon Nest is still a thing, isn't it? I'm pretty sure they haven't been like shut down or anything. Even though they have like a stream lack of players. Or maybe they earned them back. Could be a possibility. How dare you roar at me like that. Okay, I, I completely missed that, but still somehow hit you. I don't question it. <laughs> but yeah, you just pretty much go in and with this knowledge that... This game is going to be a little bit difficult for you to play until like, it gets global or something. Which I'm pretty sure it will probably get global if they're working on translating the game. So I wouldn't really doubt it too much. There's a possibility. Okay, no. Then like I figured. Yeah, you're going to have a difficult time doing quests or doing achievements. So, yeah, I wouldn't even recommend the game at this point. Especially, well, actually, if you can find an emulator that doesn't have these issues that um, Nox and Bluestack have, it would actually be pretty easy for you guys to play. But like I said, the combat is actually kind of not all that bad, to be honest. It's a very healthy community, from what you guys can see. They have a decent amount of players playing. And... The com the combat is actually... It reminds me of, um... Dawnbreak. If you guys have seen those videos that I've posted. It does remind me of Dawnbreak's gameplay. A little bit. So that's kind of a good thing. Because I actually enjoyed Dawnbreak. Well, let's say the uh, Flaming Emperor one. Not not the other ones. Flaming Emperor is the only one I actually enjoy from them. Uh, I wish, I really wish they did have like you know better translations and didn't have mixing text here. The game would have been like perfect. But yeah, this is definitely one I'm gonna keep an eye on. Can I just? I just wear it as a um, skin. Okay, maybe there is a way to change characters. Because this wouldn't be here if I couldn't. Let me try and find this character select. There we go. So you can change characters at any time, but is it just like basically creating a new character? Yes, it is. So I can just go over here and make a fighter now. Will it make me go through the tutorial again or will it just put me where I last left off? I wouldn't think it would make me go through the tutorial again. Okay, nah. It just spawns me in and I start off as level 1. Seems like the max level cap is... 300. Jeez, that's a lot of farming and grinding to be doing. So I could come in here and do this dungeon. So yeah, if I was to give my own personal opinion on the game... It's decent. It can become really good in the future. Only if they fix that bug. I'm pretty sure there's not enough, like, not a lot of English players just because of that reason. That nobody can, like, uh, see their quests or anything. They're just pretty much auto-pathing blind. Ooh. 
I don't know where those two go. <laughs> okay. I was about to say, I don't know where those two went, but they went into oblivion. Sent them to the Shadow Realm. Alright, dude, it's your turn. Come here so I can give you the Fist of Fury. Ah, you got out of it? Come on now. There you go. <laughs> Love him just slide across the ground. Look, he, he's just even sliding over there. <laughs> but yeah, this one's kind of disappointing, unfortunately. I really had high hopes and expectations for this game when I downloaded it, but unfortunately they have gone down the drain but i definitely will keep an eye on a global release because a global release could get me interested a little bit but as of now it's gonna need some work especially since there's gonna be a lot more players playing on emulator than mobile in like pretty much any game you'll always see it you'll always see like a lot more emulator players than phone players just because Emulator, you don't have to worry about your battery draining or anything like that. You don't have to worry about your phone overheating or anything like that. You don't have to worry about too much lag or anything like that. That's the main reason why we use emulators. And plus, so you can have an easier way to record, too. <laughs> so, yeah. But, guys, with that said, I'm going to leave off here. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out. Swear it's gonna get better real soon. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're gonna make it soon. Just keep pushing through. You're what you got to lose. You're what you got to lose. What you got to lose?